Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Welcome to another part of Aptitude Series videos. And uh, I'm having cold, so my voice is changed. But yeah, I hope the things will be clear to you, right? So I have taken a very easy topic over here. The reason is because you should know that easy topics are also asked in aptitude portion. And you should also understand that uh, aptitude is not that difficult, okay? So today we are going to talk about image analysis question. Uh, like question based upon image analysis these are like sequence based question this comes under non-verbal reasoning type of questions and uh, like frequently they are asked like after a gap of one or two years they have been very frequent in CSR net exam so I'll be taking three questions from the previous year of CSR net exam they are super simple to solve at the end of this video I'll also give you a homework question also I'll solve the homework question of the previous video so stay tuned for that as well now without wasting any time let's continue with our video Alright, so this is a question from CSIR June 2017. Now, let me tell you that what exactly these type of questions are, this image analysis. They basically, they are going to give you a sequence of images and they are going to ask that what will be the next image, okay, what will be the next figure. So, based upon what changes are being done, you have to uh, analyze and answer that, right. They are super simple to solve, but people generally, especially those who don't even look at the aptitude part, they start from the chemistry part and they dedicate three hours in the chemistry part. They usually miss these type of question, although these questions can easily fetch them at least two marks, right. Two, two marks are not less if uh, you are giving CSIR or if you are giving any competitive exam. Two, two marks are a lot more, right. So, let's talk about it. So it says which of the uh, which of the option is appropriate for the blank space. Now it says that there is a figure which changes to this. So what this figure is going to change it to? Okay. Now we have to look upon that what exactly is happening in this figure. Okay. So as soon as you look over here, you will find out that there is a triangle. There is an inner triangle over here. While on the other side you have a bigger triangle and you have a line and a circle inside, right? But here what is happening? There is an easier way to look upon it. What it says that this particular portion, just consider it as a, as a notebook, okay? Just look at it as a notebook. And what you have to do is you have to turn this portion like on this and stack it, okay? So I'll, I'll draw and show you basically. So like I have this image, right? So what I am doing is, okay? So I have this image. I'm, I'm just uh, like, I'm just or like, just like you close a notebook, I'm just closing it. So when you close this, what will happen? Understand. So this thing will remain at its own place. These two triangles will remain at its own place. This portion is going to match with this point. Okay. When you are closing it, this point will match with this and this line and this will go like this. So basically it will become something like this you have to imagine it in that way okay so this is one of the way of doing it now this is not symbol uh, like this is not same as this what next they have done they have rotated in 90 degrees okay they have rotated it 90 degrees clockwise okay cw means clockwise so if you rotate it 90 degree clockwise what will happen that uh, this point is going to go here this will go here and this will go here so you will get something like this and this this is also going to come on this place okay so let me draw the triangle and yeah so this is what you have got as the final figure right i'm not talking about the outside square that is common for all of them so same thing you have to apply here okay what we have done basically we have closed the notebook from this point and then we have rotated it clockwise 90 degree okay so same thing we will look upon this so if you look upon this particular thing okay i'll change the color Okay, so if you look upon this one, what we are going to do, we have this figure, right, again we have two triangles and then I have instead of circle, I have now an arrow here. What I have to do, I have to close this notebook, when I will close this point will come to this point. So basically I am going to get something like this, the triangle will remain as it is and this arrow will go inside, this is how you are going to get. Now once you get this, now next thing is 90 degree rotation clockwise. So if you rotate this, what will happen that this, this dot or this, this uh, 90 degree is going to reach to this place. So the final figure which you are going to get is 
going to be like this okay this one should be the correct answer which is option number b okay so this is how you have to look see these these are not there is no trick there is no like uh, some short trick or anything to do this it's all based upon non verbal reasoning understanding analysis of the question understanding the pattern and then going to the next image okay so this is how it needs to be done and the correct option is option number b all right let's take another question then all right so this question was recently asked in uh, csir uh, 2020 exam the question says that find out the next figure of the following sequence now again you are given with one two and three figures fourth one you have to find out so you have to see the pattern first of all okay so if you see what is happening just look upon the so there are few things which you have to look upon uh, first of all the outside square is same in all of them the inside plus sign is same in all of them okay that's same in all the figures what is different over here is the uh, sequence of a b c d okay that's different over here and the second thing is these arrow okay the, the direction of the arrow is changing third thing is the tail of the arrow is different okay fourth thing is the circle position of this uh, dot is also different so looking upon that what we can see first of all let's talk about the alphabets so if you see here is a then b then c then d in the next figure if you find out so a is starts from here uh, in the first figure it is starting from this vertex in the second one it is starting from here the sequence is same a then b then c then d in the third figure it is starting from this vertex so a then b then c then d so where will your fourth uh, like in the fourth square or in the final square where should your a b c d start from so it should start from here okay so a will be here and see everything is in a counterclockwise or anti-clockwise so a will be here b will be here c will be here and d will be here so now this is done second thing as i said ki plus is same so let's make the plus in all of them okay so plus is same so it will remain as it is next thing if you see the arrow direction it is from this vertex to this vertex in this direction head is towards the downward here the head is changed towards the upward again the arrow is in the same uh, like along the same vertices but the head is again downwards so in this case what should happen the arrow will be like this and the head of the arrow should be like this okay so down up down and then again up next thing if you find so this is a single cross then double cross single cross so the tail over here should have double cross as per the pattern looking at this uh, dot so it is downside then it went to this side then it went to this side so see here it is then here then here so it's like moving clockwise so where should be the fourth position it should come here now you have to just match which figure it matches with perfectly so you will find out that option number three is the correct option for this so see how simple these questions are there is nothing which you have to do over here just see the question carefully apply the logic and you will be able to do the next question okay all right it was very simple one let's take another question then okay so this question was asked in csir december 2018 exam what it says that uh, again what could be the fourth figure so one two three figures are given fourth one they are asking again if you look upon you have to first of all see the three figures what exactly is happening in the first figure these outside square is same in all of them fine inside if you see there is a square then circle here it's a circle then a square again it changes and there is a square and then circle okay so now you are understanding the pattern so there is a change which is happening in these two figure they are fluctuating circle inside square outside square inside circle outside circle inside square outside so next will be again square inside and circle outside okay the third thing is this arrow the direction of this arrow is also changing and the fourth thing is position of this dot is changing so looking upon all the four things we will now draw the final figure for uh, the correct answer for us okay so now if you see over here outside square i have made now what i have to do inside i have to see the pattern so circle inside square outside square inside circle outside circle inside square outside so what should come next that circle outside and square inside okay because they are changing they are like every time they are changing right so yeah here it was circle inside circle outside circle inside it should be circle outside square outside square inside square outside so square should be inside so this is done now let's talk about the position of the arrow 
so arrow is in this vertex over here then it went to this vertex facing this vertex then this vertex so if you see it's moving in the clockwise direction from here it went here and then here so in the final one the arrow should go in this direction okay so basically the arrow is moving in and uh, in the clockwise direction what about this uh, dot so if you will see dot is always in the opposite direction of this arrow so if the arrow is facing this vertex dot is on the opposite if the arrow is facing this vertex dot is on the opposite if the arrow is facing this vertex dot is in the opposite so if the arrow is facing this side dot should be in the opposite direction which is here looking upon all that which option should be correct so option number c is the correct option as simple as that so these were three questions which i found in the recent csr net exam now is the time when i'm going to give you a homework question so that you can also practice these type of questions okay so this is your homework question for today's video what it says again that select the suitable figure from the four alternatives that would complete the following figure matrix now i have purposely made this question a little bit tough so that you should you know understand a lot of things you can understand from here itself so it's a matrix you have to see the pattern in every row and then decide what is going to come over here okay so see this try this pause the video take a screenshot whatever you want to do for over here just try to do this question and do let me know in the comment section that what answer you got okay let me know the answer in the comment section now is the time when i will uh, uh, solve the uh, solution of the previous homework uh, uh, question okay the question which i gave in the previous video so let's talk about that question so the previous video was on speed and uh, speed and time graph the homework question is over here it says that a car initially at rest moves with a constant acceleration until it attains a constant velocity it moves with a constant velocity for some time and then it applies a brake to undergo non uniform retardation and comes to rest which graph correctly depicts the situation now if you have watched this video carefully and many of you have answered it correctly i'm very happy with that but a few of them were like little confused between c and d so let me explain that see it says that the car is initially at rest so it was at rest okay then it moves at a constant so some time like it it should give some time to resting means there is no velocity car is not moving in in that time so that's why it should not start from origin itself origin if it is start from origin that means car has started from when the time is zero origin means zero right so the time is zero over here so that means the car has just started when the, when you have started recording the time no it's not like that it says now in the question itself that the car initially is at rest so this is the portion where it is in rest rest of the things you guys have very well uh, understood so it was in rest then it went in a constant ex uh, acceleration and that's why you get a 45 degree uh, slope over here then it attains a constant velocity that's why this graph is flat over here so this is the place for constant velocity okay i'll just mention over here this portion okay and this is for the constant acceleration okay constant acceleration and then this portion is for non uniform non uniform retardation if the uh, uh, retardation is non uniform it will not be in a straight line this a option is for a uniform retardation this is for non uniform retardation very nice very good many of you were able to do it correctly i'm very happy with it so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i hope you understood the concept well and uh, these are the different uh, social media ids you can follow me over here as well and uh, do let me know in the comment section uh, the answer of today's homework question right and uh, i'll try to post uh, videos as frequently as possible so that's all from my side for this video see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so on academy has launched a revise india series it is a free video series for csr ugc net june 2023 exam in this series you will be able to attend free sessions by the india's top educators for csr ugc net these sessions will be very helpful for your csr net preparation and uh, for your june 2023 exam so all you have to do is follow the link given in the description of this video you will come up to this particular page there are various educators whose classes you will be able to see all these classes are free of course so you can watch these classes you will be able to see the classes of all the subjects over here so depending upon which subject you belong to you can choose a particular class a particular educator a particular topic and watch that particular class